Richard Bell is here with columnist Bob Robb, who wonders what the lessons of Atlanta's gubernatorial and secretary of state primaries have for Arizona. Bob, you say there's a chance for someone to win if they're not in the Trump lane. I think that is uh, the lesson, not only from the results in Georgia, but the previous results in Virginia, where uh, Glenn Youngkin uh, ran a campaign independent of uh, Trump and maintaining his distance to him, which enabled him uh, to get enough of the anti-Trump swing voters to win a general election. Um, that was sort of dismissed in Arizona because Youngkin was uh, chosen in a in a convention rather than a primary. Uh, and the claim among the Republican political types is that when you're facing large numbers of Republican voters in a uh, Republican primary, uh, the Trump lane is the only chance of victory. Well, Trump tried to take down the governor of uh, Georgia and the Se Secretary of State uh, because uh, they stiffed him on uh, his pressure campaign against them uh, to deliver Georgia for him, even though Biden had won the election. And they not only won, they won going away and in one-on-one -on -one contests with the Trump-endorsed candidate. In, in the Arizona Republican primary, you have a lot of multiple candidate races uh, in which someone running is what I describe as an independent conservative, not beholden to Trump, not running in support of his uh, destructive claims about the 2020 election, uh, would have a chance to get a plurality. And some of them, because they haven't run in that lane, have pretty well precluded their ability to win uh, or made it much more difficult than perhaps it would be if they had ran true to themselves. And you mentioned some candidates specifically, uh, Mark Brnovich, Matt Salmon, Karen Taylor Robeson, who maybe had a chance to, to go this way. They must have political consultants who are showing them maps and, and breakdowns of voters. Do you think Arizona Republicans are just different than Republicans in Georgia or Virginia? Uh, I do not. And, and we're getting increasing uh, evidence of the extent to which Trump lost Arizona. Um, not just because of independents deciding strongly against him and an and increased uh, Democratic turnout against him, uh, but Republicans, people who voted pretty much up and down uh, the line for Republican candidates, um, but wouldn't vote for Trump for president. Um, so those there is going to be a certain number of them who are participating in the Republican uh, primary. There's probably a larger number for whom Trump is not the deciding factor uh, and who might even think that Republican prospects would be improved if the party moved beyond Trump. Um, none of these candidates are giving those people any reason to believe that uh, they are the candidate that these that people who have that kind of sentiment uh, ought to vote for. Uh, Brnovich is the most startling example. He started out by certifying the Arizona election, uh, said that Trump lost because of ticket splitting, not not because of a fraudulent election. And so and he's running against two deep seated um, Trumpians who were all in uh, for Trump's claim. Uh, and he's getting eclipsed uh, while if he had stuck to his guns uh, rather than throwing in his lot with that sentiment, uh, he might very well, despite being outfunded and outorganized, um, have something he could say and claim. And I guess with the primary being in August, it might be we might get political whiplash if one of these candidates decides to <laughs> to change to change tax. Yeah, they're way too far out on a limb. <laughs>